In today's episode, we have to blindly rank albums, songs, rappers, album covers, and discographies. So I'm going to give Ant a list of five albums, and one at a time, you have to rank them at either number one, two, three, four, five. And maybe we'll try to f*** you up and uh, have some bad rankings and ask them to do the same to me. And guys, let us know what you think in the comments, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. But get us started, bro. What are you saying? All right, first one for me. And guys, let me know how you'd rank this blindly. Like, play along with the game in the comments section. So, my theme for today for albums is 2021 albums. And okay. the first album for today is LP by JPEG Mafia. Where's that going? Uh, there's a lot of, like, a lot of cheesy albums in 2021. I know you're going to get me. LP is going to go... Where is it going to Give go? me number two. Number two? Okay, yeah, that's, that's very fair. Defense. One of the best albums of that year, in my opinion. All right, now I'm going to throw you a bit of a bone. How about Hall of Fame? Hall of Fame Polo G? Ho Hall of Fame Polo G. That's going to slaughter the bottom of the list. Number five? Number five for Hall of Fame Polo G. This is an interesting list that is coming together. Are you a bit scared? Bro, I, like, Polo G was on a roll, bro, until that album. Like, that that's was true. really I'm still, I'm still anxious to see how he comes back. Yeah, bro. same. It's definitely going to be good. Okay, next album. It's going well so far. It is, it is. Hitler Wears Hermes 8 by West Side Gun. Hitler Where Wears Hermes 8. You know what? Yeah, both sides are pretty cool. I don't revisit really it that much, and I feel like there's gonna be one more worse album that's gonna come. I'm going number three. You're going number with three. Hitler wears her mace. That is very interesting. Of course, that is very it's interesting. Just playing out fucking beautifully for now. Uh, yeah, for now. All right, next <laughs> one. Khaled Khaled by DJ Khaled. Where's Oof. this going? Okay, I'm, I'm okay with this at four. Like that's the obvious like answer. I'm okay with that being above Hall of Fame. Are you sure? Absolutely, bro. You still have every chance uh, every chance you get or every chance I get. That's right? true. With, with Dirk right. and Baby. Last fire. album for today, Vision Land goes at number one to my wife, Yem Namir. You know what? That's fitting because I've only heard that album one time, bro. There we go. Okay, so um, your ranking for these 2021 sheesh. albums is Vision Land, LP, <laughs> HW8, Khaled Khaled, and Hall of Fame. At least I got LPI up. Yeah. At least, all right, that's not that bad. Okay, that all right, that's decent. Okay, let's see if I give you a worse fucking ranking, all right? Um, the first album for you, and by the way, these are all going to be debut albums. We got Die Lit by Playboy Cardi. Okay. Where's that going to go? Debut Die Lit by Playboy Cardi. Let's uh, let's play it safe like you did with LP. Let's go number two. Number two for Die Lit, okay. All right. Next up, you got The Sideline Story by J. Cole. Pretty uh, good debut album. Uh, pretty right? good, but I'd go number three. Number three for The Side... But below Die Lit... Yeah. You're, you want to come on air and say that the sideline story is not as good of an album. You could change this still. The number one spot's open. No, I wouldn't. Like, it just, it's for the sake of the blind okay. ranking. I have to, I have to play this safe That's now. That's an album. Know? Pink Friday by Nicki Minaj. Pink Friday? I'd go number four. Number four? Okay. Fair how, I, how is this coming out for me? Pink Friday? It's not bad. I mean, it's going to get worse, though. <laughs> for sure? All right. It's going to turn to shit pretty soon. Next up, we have Issa Album by 21 Savage. Uh, you got five or one left. <laughs> okay, Bro. give me number one because you're gonna fuck me up. Number on the one thing. with this album? Yeah, yeah give me number one Jeez. with this an album because I know you're gonna come with some fuck shit on the last yeah, one. You better believe it. <laughs> All right, you what played you your cards right. Number five is ADHD <laughs> by Joyner Lucas. There we go. Okay, W. So you have number five, ADHD by Joyner Lucas. Number four, Pink Friday by Nikki. Number three, The Sideline Story by J. Cole. Number two, Die Lit. And number one, Issa Album. You know what? I give you the point there. I have, yeah, I have I the got worst a better ranking. ranking than you. I got a better ranking than you on All this right. one. On this next one, though, I want to make you look like a fucking buffoon, bro. So uh, let's see what you brought for me. <laughs> I like that. All right, let's, let's keep going with this. All right. So this next one is number one rap songs. All okay. right. And I want you to rank them from one to five. First one is In the Club by 50 Cent. Where does this rank? Number one rap songs. I mean, the ultimate club banger, um, something that's lived on. It's everybody's fucking happy birthday song. It's got to go uh, number two in the club. Yeah, you're going to play it safe again? Okay. Playing why it not, safe. Why not number one on this one? Because I'm going to get better. If you think you're going to get better? You don't think so? I'm not sure. Next one, Thrift Shop by Macklemore. Where is this going? <sighs> okay, you brought the, the, the cheesy ones early on. I see. Um, bro, this was like cool for a hot minute when the music video came out, and then it just it went downhill ever since. Give me number five with Thrift Shop. You know what? I think that's a decent decision. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I think that you played it smart here. Okay. But let's see how smart you could play this one. The Monster by Eminem. Where is this one going? The Monster by Eminem. Interesting. Um, Number four with The Monster. Okay. All right. This is... this is. I big, like how it's shaping up. This is a very good list. Okay. Next one is Crank That by Soldier Boy. <sighs> okay. I, I feel like knowing you, you probably used the same strategy where you left like the worst one of this list at the end. But I just, I can't put myself through it to put Crank That at number one over in the club. Like, that would be a major fucking L. Crank That's going number three. Crank I'm that taking is going, a risk. 
All right. I'm risking it for the biscuit. What are you saying? Crank that at number three. Well, I think you made the right decision That's for my number today because the number one is going to be Empire State of yes, Mind by sir. Let's go. There we go. Okay, let That's me see. It's almost flawless. I would just switch in the club with Empire State. No, you well, oh, you would put in the club in front of Empire State? In front of State? Empire State, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. I never really thought you about that duality. Um, would I? Empire State of Mind's a fantastic Bro, song. Way better beat on In the Club. Is it really, though? More iconic of a song. Better hook, in my opinion. I know that's controversial. That's very interesting. Shout out Alicia Keys. Okay, so your list goes like this. Number one, Empire State of Mind. Two, In the Club. Three, Crank That. Four, The Monster. And five, Thrift Shop. W's in my flawless, bro. Th that's okay. Yeah, I'm going to get you on this for sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, my selection is based upon posse cuts, so songs that have four rappers or more. Yeah. First up, we have Down Bad by Dreamville. Down Bad by Dreamville? Um, How high? Let's uh, let's do number three. How low can you go? Okay. Okay, Down Bad, number three. Down Bad, not bad, not bad. I, I, Next I, up. I know what you're going to do with this one already. I kind of yeah. know your strategy. You know my yeah. strategy? Mercy by Kanye West. Uh, that's gonna go number one. Number one. Number one. That's bold, yeah. bro. The number second one. song, number one. Okay. Number one. Next up, we have Forever. Eminem, Drake, Kanye, Wayne, Iconic. I'll go number two. Number two with Forever. Okay. That's this is a pretty good selection. It's pretty good so far. Next up, though, we have One Train by Rocky. That'll oh, uh, you see, I would. Now you got down. four and five open. I'll do four. I'll do four. Wow. On it. Yeah, absolutely. I'll do four on it. Try to guess what you're putting number five, bro. What am I putting? Number Affirmative five? action by Nas and uh, the Firm. Uh, oh no, that sucks. But regardless, though, like I'm okay. But you choose bro, all good ones, though. I know, but you literally put like the most iconic. Not even not iconic, but maybe the best ever mafioso rap song at number five. I know, but what do you want me to do? I didn't know about it. You saved it all the way towards the end. That's, That's how cheesy. I fucked you, though. Uh, That's how uh, I got you. Okay, number five, right. Affirmative Action by Nas. Number four, <laughs> One Train by Rocky. Number three, Down Bad by Dreamville. Number two, Forever. And number one, Mercy. This is pretty shitty, bro. One Train is better than Mercy. Forever is better than Mercy. What do you want me to do, bro? I'm not I'm like, I can't read the future. I didn't know you were going to bring those out towards the end. Like, down bad. I thought you, said, you had my fucking strategy yeah, down bad. Well, well, I'm, <laughs> sure, I'm not sure, though. I didn't I got have you it that. there. One, one in my books. All right. Um, let's go on to some rappers now. All right, rappers. So this is rappers with Lil in their name. So <laughs> this could uh, this could get very interesting, all right? All right, let's do it. So first one is Lil Durk. This is going to be easy because there's not many great Lil rappers out there. Sure. Um, Lil Durk. Lil Durk. I mean, listen, I think Durk... Definitely has been improving over the years. He's been putting out good albums, but still not not my cup of tea. Um, too much block spinning for me. Number four for Durkio. <laughs> okay, if you say so, boss. All right, next one. Lil Pump, where's he going? Sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna going? have a little poopy come in here, aren't you? <laughs> where's Lil Pump going? Lil Pump at number five. He's literally one of the worst rappers ever. I feel uh, confident in that. Yeah, all right. How about Lil Dicky? <laughs> <laughs> Where's he placed? Number three for Lil Dicky. That's okay. Give All me right. some Wheezy, bro. Maybe maybe you get something good here. Uh, All right. Give me that Wheezy F. How about Lil Zan? Sheesh. Okay, so <laughs> this was gonna be a, a garbage list one way or another. Number two for Zan. And then Lil Wayne goes number one. There we go. You know, all right, all that's right, not all too right. Bad, right all because right. like from number two to number five, nah, you're all uh, horrible. Uh, for the most part, no, besides you got Dirk, Dirk, you got Dirk at four. Okay. I took the one out with Dirk, bro. And not only okay, that, but Lil, but Lil Pump is definitely over Dicky and Zan. That's for sure. Mm. Absolutely, there, there are salvageable songs. Dicky could spit. <sighs> Professional rapper. No, you've always said how much you no, dislike. No, I, I really despise. Okay, so Dickie. listen, your official list for my Lil, uh, let's say ranking is going to be one Lil Wayne, two Lil Zan, three Lil Dicky, <laughs> four Lil Dirk, and five Lil Pump. Oof. Apologies to Dirk, yo. That, that, is, that does look bad in hindsight. <laughs> um, all right. For you, I got West Coast rappers. All right. Interesting. First up, we got Tyler. That Many people don't even like associate him with the, with, the, with the West Coast, excuse me, but what do you sing for Tyler? What am I saying for Tyler? Yeah. Let's go uh, numero deux. Number two? That's fair. That's fair. I think that's a safe Next point. up, you got Dre. Dr. Dre. As a rapper. As a rapper? Yeah. Let's go four. Number four with Dr. Dre. Okay. As a rapper. Yeah. How's that looking? Next up, we got Larry June. Number five. Number five for Larry June. Okay. What's coming not after? Not bad, not bad. YG. So you got to put YG over Larry June and Dr. Dre automatically, which I don't know how I feel about that, Chief. That, as a rapper, though, yeah, that's a reasonable take. That's a really reasonable take. He's been slipping lately, though. Like, but not my crazy line, the red album. YG yeah, no, no, fire, no, 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 stop this. Don't discredit okay. it. Okay. Um, we're going to be putting Three or one? Three. We're going to put yeah. him at three. And your number one is Drake Yo, the ruler. 
That's actually solid though. Drake was fire. Over though. Tyler? No, not over Tyler. I should have gone Tyler. And I'm, I should. You should have put Tyler one, yeah, bro. Like, he's literally one of the best one. in the game in terms of like right now. Come yeah, on, but, bro. But Drake, you know, like, had a massive influence on the West Coast as well. And, like, he was really he, but next I admit up, that he know? would be the worst rapper on this list, and he's your number one, bro. The, the list goes as follows. Number five, Larry June. Number four, Dr. Dre. Number three, YG. Number two, Tyler. And one is Drake, yo. He would have been number five. My, be real. Okay, okay, fine. But your, your ranking of my little rappers is worse, though. Uh, I disagree. Yeah, no, no, no. Your, your ranking of my little rappers is worse, though. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. You, you even got YG over Dre. Actually, that one's fair. That one's fair. YG over Larry yeah. June. Absolutely. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. Yes, well, yes. Tyler over all three of those. Yeah, come on. It was you, only but the But you still have like a number five pick at number one. So I don't know about that. Um, let's go on to album covers though. What'd you bring for me? All right. This one's where, this is where it's going to start getting dicey. Okay. So I have to make sure. The difference is here is that like I tried to actually bring a nice mix of the good and the bad and the ugly. And you just brought the fucking ugly, bro. All right. So for this, a lot of these. Okay. So this next category for album covers is actually going to be mixtape covers. And I want to cool. see, I want to see how you're going to rank these. Okay. So. The first one I have for you is Meek Mill's DC. Okay, the DC2 cover is nice, but there's a lot going on. I feel like I'm looking inside of it, like his brain. DC2 is fine, um, too. Yeah, I'm going to go with uh, number three, play it safe to start. Number three to play See what else is in that pool. Hold on a second. What sometimes, else are we going to swim through Sometimes here? Google Docs just like kind of formats weirdly, you know? Like I have to kind of do this. Okay, so DC2 number three. Okay, next one. This is Future's Astronaut Stylist. Uh, I think it's Astronaut Status. Excuse um, me. My bad. It's, it's just like the way it's, But look, you yeah, see... Yeah, I know. Like, it's spelled out it's a bit spelled, weird. But out a bit either way, like who listens to this album? <laughs> um, or this mixtape, I should say. You know what? I'm going to go number four. You're going to go prefer, number four I prefer, the, I prefer the DC2 cover. Okay. So Astronaut Status is going there. My bad for any future fans if I butcher the name. Next one. This is Jada Kisses from Ashy to Classy. To raspy. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. <laughs> this is a real mix. He tried, this is like Halloween. He tried to dress up like Biggie, bro. Uh, like, what's look, going look, on look here? Look at this one. So where is this the going? The coochie? Um, sheesh. Give me number five, bro. Number like, five is going to Jada. That's very interesting. Yeah, he just, he stole like Biggie's whole flow on that one, bro. I'm sorry. I can't. Well, that was the whole thing. It's like the whole From Ashy thing, I believe. is Okay, anyways. Pretty whack. Next one. This is Gucci Mane's mixtape cover, Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> he always has the funniest fucking covers. Um, just because it makes you laugh, bro. I'm going number one with Gucci Mane. You're going number one with Gucci number Mane. Number Wayne with Guap. All right, let's okay, let's put Gucci at number one over here. This next one is Uncle Murda's Murda Murda's Music Two. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Those Care Bears? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, and they're all slow stuff. You know what, bro? I used to love Care Bears. I have like two Care Bears still in my old closet, bro. I'm going number two with this number one. Number two is going to Uncle Murda. <laughs> there we go. So what's number what? Is it, or is that everything? That's everything. Because okay, you, got, okay, you had Gucci Mane. You had Gucci Mane yeah, yeah, going yeah. at number one. Uh, so Uncle Murda is going to go number two. Here we go. And then your list goes like this. Number one is Gucci Mane's mixtape. <laughs> number two is Uncle Murda's mixtape. Number three is DC2. Oof, that's a bad one. That the, the Number three, sorry. That should have go all the way up to number one. You made it seem like you came with a classic cover, bro. Like, chill. It low-key is a classic cover, It's though, a classic bro. mixtape that covers, like, whatever. And then after that, you have Future's Astronaut Status at number four. And then after that, you have Jada Kiss at number five. I'm not sure. I'm happy that. with that. I took, I like, the, the two funniest Stop. covers, the, one that bring, the ones that bring me the most joy in my top two slots. I'll take that. Um... Let's see how poorly you do on this one, though. Um, actually, you can do poorly because all of these are pretty fire, in my opinion. Um, the first one is a scaring the host cover, JPEG and Danny. What's the theme for this one, by the way? Um, this one's actually going to be... Um, what did you have for this one? This was random, actually. Yeah. Oh, okay. Totally cool. random. So then I have no context for how I got to rank these. Yeah, it makes it a bit trickier. For you. But they're all they're all like pretty chill covers. Oh, okay. That's cool. I'll go number two then. Number two? The okay. number two slot has been working for me as of late. It has been. Scaring the Hose goes at number two. What else do you got for me on this one? This Next is where up, things are going to get dicey. We have The Life of Pierre Four by Pierre Bourne. That's going to go number five. Really? It's a purple album cover. What are you talking about? It's got about? some Don the vibes going on. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go number five. Wow. What did you, what, you want me to put a number one? Oh, no, that's fair. That's fair. I didn't expect you to do that, though. Okay. Next up, we have Blank Face LP, Schoolboy Q. Oh, this one's crazy. You have three, one, and four still open, brother. Okay. So. Where are you going with this? Let's do. Uh, ooh, what did I put at number two again? Uh, JPEG. 
Okay, let's do number three. I'll number save, three, I'll, I'll wow. Save, I'll save it, I'll save it, I'll save it. You know it. what, that's a good choice. I'm not going to lie to you. I'll, I'll save it. Because next up, you have the Long Live ASAP cover. Rocky wrapped in that American flag. You got 4-1. It's a big difference there. It's going to make or break your list. I think you could, because you told me there's all good ones in here. So I'm going to go number four with this one. I'm going <laughs> to see what you have for number one. What did you have for number one for me? What do you got? I fucking revealed my hand, didn't I? What did you have a number one? Low boat. Yeah, fire Low cover. Boat. There we go. This there is like low-key a perfect fucking... There we go. I think I, have the, I, have the, I think I have a perfect list okay. for today. Number five, you had T-Lop 4. Number four, you had Long Live ASAP by Rocky. Number three, uh, you had Blank Face LP. Number two, Scaring the Hose. And number one, Little Boat. Only error, I would have put Blank Face above... Scaring the Hose. Scaring the Hose is a crazy cover, though. It's That's fire. an original cover. Yeah, though. it's pretty fire, too. It is crazy. Um, next up, we got discographies, bro. Last one. All right, so my discography ranking for today is rappers who haven't dropped since the 2010s decade. Mm. So kind of in that same realm. Okay, first rapper for today is Chance the Rapper. Where is he ranking? Chance the Rapper's discography. I mean, he took a big hit with a big day, bro. But he does have Coloring Book, which is pretty decent. Acid Rap's great. 10 Days Fire. 10 Days is really good, too. I'm going to have to go with number four with Chance the Rapper. Number four with Chance? Yeah. Okay. Because I, I, I don't feel, like, amazing about the catalog, you know? That's fair. How about ASAP Rocky? ASAP Rocky. Okay, now we're talking. Rocky's got a nice catalog. No misses whatsoever. Give me, give me number two with ASAP Rocky. I want to shoot high. You want to shoot high for this With ASAP Rocker. Okay. Schoolboy Q. Mm. All right, okay. Schoolboy Q. Sheesh. So I, I gave Chance the three slot or the four? The four slot. Now it's Q. You have, the one, you have one, three, and five to your disposal. You know what? Might be a hot take. I do think that Rocky has the better catalog. Q is going number three. I see. That's where things start, are going to start School going downhill. Schoolboy Q, that's, number three. That's where things are going to start ranking. going downhill for you. How about Nicki Minaj? Where does Nicki rank now? Nicki's catalog is going to have to... You know what, bro? She doesn't have a single classic album. I'm not huge on... Um, Pink Friday. I'm not huge on Queen. Give me number five for Nikki. Oof. That, that, that means Cardi B is going number one for you for today. Oof. Like, Invasion of uh, Privacy uh, won a Grammy, oh, bro. Shut your gizzard. That gizzards. won a fucking Grammy, bro, There brother. are literally <laughs> four people in front of her that have better discography. Okay, I, I admit, no. I, I admit this. Besides the number one pick, everything else is fire, bro. I, I was like, everything else makes uh, perfect I, sense. I, I mean... But yeah, you have Rocky If you were to two. bump everything one up, and then after that, you would take... Cardi and then drop yeah, it all the way exactly. down. Exactly. It would be perfect. Yeah, but it's not perfect though. You have her at number I'm one. I'm happy so. with it, bro. She won a <laughs> fucking Grammy. It's a classic to some people. All but right, next if you up, want your gold star, you could take it. Um, <laughs> next up, I have um, a category that is uh, is mixed genres, actually. That, that was the, the theme for this. Mixed genres? Mixed genres. So Ooh. the first artist that we have okay. is The Weeknd. Oh, The Weeknd's catalog. The Weeknd's catalog from five to one. Uh, you wouldn't put the best at first. I know you already. So let's go. Let's go the weekend. Number two. Number two for the weekend. The we okay. The number two slot has been working for interesting. me. Interesting. And now this is going to be very interesting. Do you put Frank Ocean above or below the weekend for his catalog? Uh, you got a lot of classic shit there. Yeah, I, I can't. I it, it, listen. That's a different <laughs> conversation. I got you. I got you. But I would go Frank Ocean number one though. Okay. Because I don't think anyone's going to get over Frank. I like Ocean that. Today. Okay. That's a ballsy one. And next up we have Eminem. Oh, um, Eminem. Let's go. Uh, let's go number four for Eminem. Number four for Eminem. Okay. I'm very happy that you did that because next up we got Logic. Number five or number three for Sir Logic. Number five for Logic. Number five for Logic, and that gives you Smoke Perp at number three. Oh, there we go. <laughs> but you know what? That's not that bad of a ranking. I got the one and two right. perfect. You literally though. have Smoke Perp above Eminem, bro. I, um, I know it's pretty crazy, but I mean, like you tried to jit me on the last ones. I'm not that mad so about it. So number five Logic, number four Eminem, number three Smoke Perp, number two The Weeknd, number one Frank Ocean. You know what? You got me today, bro. I did. I'm gonna get come out and say it. I did. I, I'm better than I'm better than you in these blind rankings. It's the I first am, one. It's the we'll, first one. We'll have one. to see what happens. But guys, let me know in the comments section. How did you feel about your rankings? And listen, if you guys want to see this again, give us some categories we could go through or maybe something else in the different criteria that we brought today. But thank you so much for watching this video. And guys, we did launch our new audio podcast. If you guys want to check it out, the link to, excuse me, the link to our Spotify and our Apple is down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching this and we'll catch you in the next one.